All right, welcome smarthelping.com here. We're doing a uh this is not a financial model, but it's a model that would be used for accounting firms and consulting firms that have various consultants or employees that have weekly billable hours and if you want to track those um hours on an annual basis as well as um what they're doing for each of your clients, this can do it all in one. It's very simple. There's no macros. Um, we're just going to go tab by tab, and I'll explain how it works. Uh, so basically, you've got your data entry tab. This is where you select from a drop down. I've done a, up to 100 employees. You pick what week it is, and you pick enter what their hours were for that week. Their billable hours. Then you pick what client um, it was for. Now that could be a little misleading if they work on multiple clients in one week. What you would do in that case is so let's clear all this out because we're going to add stuff as we go. So let's say they worked on two clients, so let's, you just do employee three again. You pick week one again and you pick however many hours they did with say client number one and instead of two this time and you can see on our weekly performance or performance by client you'll see one hour and see client one four and see two and then their total hours now we have then so basically this is where you're entering all the data for every week for all the employees or they could just enter it themselves um, you can easily lock down all the formulas so they can't change any formulas and all that they can enter is the data entry uh, or this could be built on Google Sheets so everybody can view it at once if they want or whatever that's completely possible then the most important sheet I've done weekly summaries for each employee and then I've done performance by client summaries the most important though is the high to low which is the performance ranking so this is actually gonna rank all the employees from 1 to 100 based on average weekly hours so it's not gonna go on total hours it's not gonna go on annual pace well average weekly hours to annual pace would would be the same ranking um, and then we've got employee in the total weeks now I put the total weeks in here just so you could see um, how many weeks uh, their ranking is based on if it's based on two weeks or 20 weeks you might want to know that so we've only got one employee in here let's add another one let's say employee number four and we're still in week one. Let's say they do seven hours for in just another client. We'll pick C5. And I've got drop down list here. Um, I've got 100 clients, 100 employees, and then 52 weeks because this is designed to be used for a 52 week period. And then you can just reset it or um, refresh it with the blank template every year. You can update employee names and client names here and that will flow through to the data entry um, the high to low here this will update and uh, the weekly performance yep that's based on it and performance by client now the client name, I'm actually, I'm going to go in and do this a hundred times, so I'm basically going to have to do this because I haven't done it yet, equals, you know, client one's field. So I'm going to do that all the way down, and I have to manually change that. I'll just do the first couple just for the demonstration purposes of the the thing so B three four five six seven oh hold on two three four five six seven 
Okay, anyway. Uh, might as well just do this. Hold on. Stand by. I'll be right back. Okay, well, we got the code, so I didn't have to manually do it. Indirects are nice. So, anyway, where was I? I think we were doing. So, this is by client. You can see, you know, what employee is doing what for each client and the total hours there, which would obviously tie out to their total hours on the weekly uh, total hours. Next up, we have the uh, visual performance chart. Now this is only going to show your top 25 employees and it's based on their annual pace and you can see the bar chart is a combined chart with total hours and annual pace and then the line is their average weekly. So let's say E4, you know their total hours here are very low because we just have a couple entries. Let's say we add some more E4 here. Let's say week two. Let's say they're at fifteen, ten, twenty client. Now you're gonna see the total hours come up a bit. And there you go. So this is the the annual pace is being you know, we're getting closer to that. So that's where this darker shade is is representing, and the, the lighter shade is the what they're pacing for 52 weeks. And so I listed the top 25 employees here just because of spacing, and you know that makes sense. You can't list all 100 here. There's just no room. So visually, the most um, the logical thing was just you know top 25, and you can see their main metrics. So on the high to low, this is where that data is pulling from. I've also done top 10 in green, up to 25 in yellow, then orange is all the way into up to 90, and then the bottom 10 are in red. And again, this is not going on total hours, it's going on average um, weekly hours. So if you have 10 hours one week, if you just started last week and you got 10 hours, you know, your pace, you're going to be not at the bottom, you're going to be... Who, you know, around whoever else is pacing 10 hours a week for however long. So, I mean, I've really, I've designed this to try to be as simple to use as possible. And no macros, and all you're doing is you're putting data into the data entry tab, and then you can see it visually. You can see the ranks high to low. You can see weekly performances by uh, employee and you can see what each employee is doing um, with each client and then our visual and I've also got instructions and lists here for those who uh, purchase this uh, but again the the focus here is on consulting and accounting firms where you know your billable hours is really important it's not really to track you know regular uh, you know just employees at work you know nine to five everybody's got 40 hours a week whatever but for consulting firms and accounting firms, the billable hours here is going to, I mean, that's your business's revenue. So as a manager, you're going to want to, or the owner, or the CEO, or whatever, you're going to want to know, you know, how much hours everybody's doing. And the more hours somebody does, the more money the firm makes. So this is a nice tracking tool for that. And, uh... I think it would help, and it's about, I mean, I'll, probably 90% of firms would fall within, uh, you know, 100 clients and 100 employees, maybe a little bit more clients, but uh, 100 consultants actually is a pretty um, good number to hit basically everybody, or the majority. And I guess that's about it. So I know it's not a financial model, but it's a model to help people who might be doing financial modeling or consulting or accounting or uh, lawyers anybody that any firm that does you know billable hours basically could use this to track their employees performance and show paces and the 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 chart is a nice motivational tool the or the color coding uh, and the chart you know they probably want to be getting on this top 25 chart so you know who knows what benefits this could do to your organization 
Uh, also, if you want, there's obviously your specific situation might require changes um, or modifications to fit. I do charge uh, $40 an hour on top of the purchase price of the model to uh, implement those changes and I work quickly efficiently I've had a lot of clients come through smart helping now and I've been doing uh, work for them to get everything you know like they want but the template is still hundred percent usable like this but if you want other tweaks other metrics tracked um, added data entry columns and more tracking based on that that's all not a problem and I can do it and I'll have my rate you could see let me try to pull up smarthelping.com so you can see my contact hourly here I have my hours added and this is a new feature on the site so you could do 1 through 10 so we can estimate an hourly job and then I've obviously got all the models here listed I've got mid-level uh, upper tier models uh, my mid-levels are 45 the upper tiers are I think 125 then I've got bulk discount discounts if you want five mid-levels it's 88 bucks if you want 10 or more mid levels is 135 if you want all the upper tier models to total 185 so all of that that's a big savings no matter which way you cut it if you want to get bulk and uh, I'll be adding this new tracking probably the the hourly employee tracking will probably go under general yeah it'll probably go under general where the risk assessment is. All right, that's all I got for you. Uh, hopefully next week I'll think of something else that might be useful um, that you can use in Excel and apply to your organization. Have a great day. I'll see you later.